Yo, what is up guys, Boris here, and finally the time has come. 60 Stamina Kizaru Raid Boss is finally here. It's it was been a long time since Aokiji first came out, you know, the, the back in the golden week of last year. So it's been almost a year since the last Admiral made his debut in One Piece Treasure Cruise, and now it's time to take on Numero Dos number two. We got Kizaru. Now, I'm not gonna lie, uh, at first, you know, he seemed like he might have been uh, pretty hard, like he was going to be a pretty tough raid boss, but uh, I found this pretty easy team uh, that you guys can use. It's pretty straightforward if you think about it. Uh, it's going to be a Mihawk slasher team with an Inthawk friend captain. Now, Inthawk, if you don't know what he does, uh, he will boost slashes based on the previous combo hit. So if you did a great, or sorry, if you did a perfect, it gives a 2.75 and then so on and so forth. So. Uh, the reason we're using him is because he has a very unique special, uh, which actually is very useful for a lot of dungeons, but in this case, it's going to be useful for this one in particular because Kizaru, just like Boa, will revive after you kill him. And so, you can just go ahead and use Inthawk's ability once he revives to take him out. Now, I'll explain a little bit how everything works in a little bit. But first, I want to mention here, room number three is the pacifist room, and sorry, I left the mouse cursor in, my bad. But uh, hopefully that's not too distracting. <laughs> now, the pacifistas, uh, what they will do is that they will each have a different ability that might or might not uh, affect you. So, what I would recommend doing is taking out the one that does not have the the shield first. I think each room will have one without shield, though I've seen a variation with two without a shield, I believe, once. Um, but there are different variations, and um, they're not they don't have that much HP, so you should be fine. I brought Usopp, and I highly recommend that you use Usopp on the fourth room, just to make sure everything uh, goes well. And then uh, keep in mind that you can tank one hit because uh, Kizaru will deal around 7,700 somewhere around there. So you do need to tank one hit from him. So that means you can tank one hit from the Pacifistas, who deal around one, do about 11,000. So uh, keep that in mind, and you should be fine. The other thing uh, that you have to keep in mind is that Inthawk does have a relatively high cooldown, so make sure to have either a friend with a max uh, skill or close to max. If not, you can't, as you see here, you'll, you'll be able to stall a good amount of turns. Like, uh, I have five turns, and like I said, I can even tank a hit for another three turns of stall. So, you have plenty of time to go ahead and, you know, do your thing. Uh, I highly recommend trying to get some green orbs in this room just to get that extra amount of damage that uh, can never uh, go wrong with that. And then overall, uh, just keep on attacking and getting ready. Make sure you have all your specials, you're good to go. With um, in talk, you can have, I think, three turns because you go into Kizaru, that's one. Uh, then Kizaru does his preemptive, that's two. And then you get an attack and that's three. So as long as you, you go in with three turns, like I could probably go in right there. But uh, I might actually do that, I'm not sure. But uh, the reason, again, we bring in, in talk is because of his ability, which uh, will deal a percentage of what you dealt uh, in the last turn. So what we're going to do is we're going to burst down Kizaru on the second turn and then we're going to go ahead and use Inthawk to take him out once he revives. So here you, you'll go ahead and see he does have an he has a debuff protector. Keep that in mind. I can't, you can't see it in the video but he does have a debuff protector. And then um, other than that, the first turn you're free to go. Nothing really, uh, no debuffs or anything. So go ahead and deal as much damage as you can here. However, keep in mind that he will turn back the abilities of all your green characters by one turn. That's why I wasn't able to use my abilities on the first turn. So. You have to wait one turn, and then now you just go all out. You go ahead and use uh, Mihawk to deal that 30%, and then you go ahead and use uh, Strong World Zoro to go ahead and give you those three green orbs, which you're going to use combined with uh, Dofi to give you the three orbs on your three green units. And then the key to the puzzle is Koza for the type boost on top of the Dofi orb boost. It's going to deal massive damage. The problem, of course, being that you do need to hit perfects to get as much as you can out of your Inthawk. So, just try to hit perfects, guys. Uh, if you hit like one or two goods, you're probably not going to have enough damage. But as you see here, I managed to hit at least most of these are perfects, if not all of them. Yeah, there you go, all perfects. So, with all perfects, you should easily be able to take him out. And then, you'll see here, he will revive back to full. And then he will uh, increase his attack and do all these weird things. But none of it matters because you can just go ahead and use Intox Special and GG. So that is Kizaru 60 Stamina. Pretty easy setup in my opinion. It's probably going to be the easiest team to run for this dungeon. 
and uh, hopefully most of you guys can uh, run it. Ikoza, again, is uh, most of you guys have him by now. Everyone has Usopp and Mihawk and Dofi. So really, it comes down to Strong World Zoro. But if you don't have Strong World Zoro, I'm sure there's different uh, things you can use, maybe like Law or something like that. So uh, with that said, guys, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, hopefully this helped out. Let me know how your Kazara raid went, and until next time, thanks for watching.